So, you know, I think what you guys are describing and the way I'm kind of putting this model in my mind, it's kind of like, okay, we've got the small fellas who are doing their own little setups. Then you have people uh, and, and they kind of trust themselves. Then you've got people who don't trust themselves and they've got smaller amounts. And they need someone to hold their hands. So they'll have some sort of collaborative custody model. Then you've got big heavy hitters. They might go that route, but they might also go for like a multi-institutional collaborative custody model type thing, like what I believe OnRamp is doing with Jesse Myers. And so, and then you might say, okay, that's a better bet than say leaving your coins with a single institution. So you got to kind of spread the risk. And then you'll have people that are dabbling in ETFs. And then I wonder, and this is something, I don't know where I heard this. And I actually had a chat with Wiz about this and he took the under and I've taken the over. I think someone will do this. There's like eight to 12 ETFs. I haven't bothered looking, uh, but I think one of them are going to want to distinguish themselves from the pack because you know obviously blackrock's the big dog fidelity's right up there um van x involved um there's a i mean those are big players and then i think you know you've got like kathy wood you know like i don't think arc is going to attract a ton of capital franklin templeton they're not going to just be bringing in like billions and billions i reckon one of them is going to want to over time i think it's going to take time but they're going to try and allow you to withdraw into self-custody and uh, like an in-kind ETF as opposed to like a cash settled one. That's my, that was the, that's what I think. Cause that'd be a smart move if I'm a provider because otherwise it's just a mess. It's like, how do you compete with these people? Um, well, I, I, only one of them is actually um, cus going to custody their own Bitcoin. I think, I don't know if it's Fidelity or Valkyrie, yeah. maybe. It's it's Fidelity. Everyone Fidelity. else is in Coinbase. It's yeah. Coinbase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's a start. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what these businesses do all day, every day, is, is try and differentiate their products against their competitors. Like all businesses, not just these type of businesses, all businesses are just constantly trying to find a competitive edge against their competitor. So, yeah, absolutely, they'll do it. What what those what they all decide their competitive edge is going to be is uh, you know up for debate. But there's going to be lots of lots of uh, options. You know, somebody oh. might say, okay, well, we're going to offer. If you if you hold you know a Bitcoin ETF with us, we'll allow you to have a, a property mortgage based on that as the collateral, right? There's an advantage. Um, well, I think the fact that um, that zucchini eating retards um, FTX blowing up was so public facing. Like even people who aren't really into it, a lot of people have heard FTX that term FTX, or, or at least aware that there was a big exchange that blew up, and I think that just helps to reinforce that message around when we're, you know, because most of your friends and family know you're a Bitcoiner, right? They got, they haven't been able to escape your ranting over the last couple of years. So hopefully they're going to lean into their, their trusted Bitcoiner friend or family member uh, to get allocation to this over time. And then it's like, just looking, looping back to that previous conversation about that education piece is like, well, there's FTX. Here's that example of, a lot of people putting trust in that exchange. And this is what ended up happening with the rug pull around them not owning the Bitcoin that they say um, laid claim to. So that's those helping inform those conversations for those people who, who, who do approach you have a Christmas dinner to say, that's what you need to be looking for. The transparency of the, ex like, this is how you custody Bitcoin. This is how they should be custodying Bitcoin. And this is how they should be, uh, reporting on their balances and, and making sure that they have the Bitcoin that they lay claim to.